Uh, so the fifth award is for promoting better health and avoiding disease. The first finalist in this category is ABM University Health Board for their work to reduce the impact of delayed language skills in children aged two to three years. The Flying Start program provides support for children in deprived communities and research showed that up to 60% of children in deprived areas of Bridge End had delayed language skills. These children were being referred for specialist help but the vast majority of these children did not have a specific disorder that required such specialist treatment. Flying staff staff decided to screen the language skills of all children who entered their nurseries to identify those with, delay with delayed skills and provide support from nursery staff. Screening for those in need of support was carried out twice a year to show progress and data showed that 68% of those who needed urgent help made significant improvements in their language development. The second finalist is joint submission from Howell Var University Health Board, eHealth Digital Media, Swansea University, Winch Lane Surgery and ABM University Health Board for their work to develop a digital service that enables healthcare professionals to prescribe information videos for patients. The digital service is called Pocket Medic, which is a new interactive platform delivering a series of eight short films in English or Welsh via a link to an app. The films provide advice and tips to help patients with type 2 diabetes become experts in managing their own care. Pocket Medic has been piloted with 30 patients from Winch Lane GP Surgery in Haverford West, and the results have been encouraging with participants welcoming the opportunity to access important information easily and in their own time. The potential scope for this project to engage patients in their own health outcomes is huge and it will continue to be tested. The third finalist is Betsy Cadwallader University Health Board for their work to develop a Singing for Breathing programme for people with chronic respiratory conditions. Research has shown that singing projects can make a big difference to people with chronic breathing conditions and a network of singing groups is supported by the British Lung Foundation. However, there were no groups available in Wales, so staff decided to set up a Singing for Breathing group in Glancluid Hospital, led by a music therapist and a respiratory occupational therapist. The service is designed to exercise depleted muscles, help patients improve breathing control, manage their condition and increase their well-being and independence. Staff are now looking to expand the scheme by moving into a community venue in Colwyn Bay and are working with the British Lung Foundation and the Welsh Government National Exercise Referral Scheme to ensure more patients can benefit. So we're now going to hear from Helen Birtwistle, one of the judges, with her highlights of each finalist. This project is amazing because it looks at children who have uh, delayed uh, speech and language in their very early years and it seeks to uh, address that through working between speech and language therapists and nursery nurses for example in Flying Start Nurseries. And what really stands out to us is that this project has an impact on these children's life chances everything improves for them. If they can communicate, then they can improve every element of their life and development. So it not only impacts on these individual children and their families, but on Wales, on our communities, on the future. This project is really fantastic because it embraces technology and it gives, through technology, it gives real power to, to people who suffer from, in this case, type 2 diabetes. So they're able to be prescribed um, things that they can do to make their condition better uh, on film, that's great, on a digital platform, and they're able to feed back on that. This project really stood out to us as judges because of the impact it has on the lives of the people who take part in it. These are some very poorly people with chronic lung conditions and the fact that they were, through singing, able to control their breathing better was great in itself. But in addition to that, 
um, they improved their self-confidence, uh, their self-esteem, they socialised more, they generally felt better and able to live more independently and, and have, have better lives in their own communities. Okay, and the winner is... ABMU University Health Board, reducing the impact of language delay in two to three-year-olds.